Okay, and welcome to the most basic, basic, basic uh, mechanism uh, animation tutorial. <clears throat> what I've done here is that I've uh, gone to the uh, asset store, Unity Asset Store, and I went to 3D models, and I got uh, characters, and I sorted them by price, so I get free stuff, and I downloaded the skeleton character uh, pack, the skeleton pack, and I downloaded the uh, female character pack, which is this one here. And what I did is that I, from the female character pack, I took Joan right here and put her into the hierarchy, into my scene. And then I went to the skeleton data pack and I took Mr. Skeleton and I put him into the scene. Uh, uh, so that now I have the skeleton and I have Joan. But that's it. And the skeleton I had to bump up a little bit to make him uh, compatible with the size of Joan. Now, if I just go ahead and I go play, because I have maximized on play, what I see is my skeleton is dancing and Joan isn't dancing. And let me show you why my skeleton is dancing and I can explain to you why Joan is not dancing. If I go over here to my skeleton and I look over here on the right, you see animations uh, for the skeleton. You see this uh, component. And notice that I have dance here. Well, his default, if I click on this little button right here, little tiny button right here, click on that, these are the, the uh, animations that came with the skeleton character pack. They did not come with the uh, female character pack. So I've got him on dance. I could put, uh, say I could put run, click on run, then close this. And now run is the default animation. Let me try it again, see what happens. And now he's running. Well, sort of. Okay. If I click on Joan, Joan also has animations. And you notice she has a dance there. Because if I click on this little button, I can put dance from the skeleton character, uh, skeleton pack. I can put dance for Joan on the female pack. However, unlike the skeleton who will dance, and I come back here to the skeleton, and I put, let me put dance here for him. Um, she won't dance. And you might say, well, what's going on here? The reason why is because they're not talking to each other. That is, this model doesn't know, doesn't recognize this model. Actually, these models are not in the same system. They need to be put into the mechanism system in order for Joan to be able to use the skeleton's animations or any other model that I would put in here uh, that they could use the animations made for other models. Now let's see, let's see how we do that. So you have to follow me along uh, on this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and notice that on the skeleton, uh, the instance of the skeleton that I use inside the scene, notice the inspector panel for it. It has the transform component as the animation component. Same thing for Joan's instance. She has the transform component and the animation component, which doesn't do much good for her right now. If I come over here onto assets and I open up skeleton data, uh, let me open it up. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Skeleton data. Let me open it up here. If I click on skeleton here, this is uh, this is the blueprint. This is the actual object for the skeleton. This is different from the copy of the skeleton here. Notice that if I get the skeleton here in the project panel, I see a picture of the skeleton, and I th see three tags up here. One says model, another one says rig, another one says animations, and, and uh, it gives me all kinds of errors. This part here, this is actually part of the Mekinen, uh animation system, and it doesn't recognize the skeleton. The same way if I go over here to the female character pack and I go to Joan, uh, there's Joan. Uh, she's in an uncompromised uncomprom uh, position. Uh, but she also has the same three tags up here. She has model, she has rig, 
and she has animations. And uh, what I need to do is I need to get them into the Mekinen uh, system. So in order to do that, I'm going to come here uh, to the uh, skeleton data, and I'm going to put the skeleton inside the Mekinen system. And to do that, I come here, I click on skeleton, the, the, the skeleton object inside the project panel, and I go to rig. And I come here to where it says animation type. The animation type I want is humanoid. Okay. And then this says automatically, it says create from this model. So I'm going to put apply. And when I put apply, it now says configure. I'm going to click on configure. And then it says, do you want to save the changes you made in the scene untitled? And I'll say yes. Okay. So it asked me to, to, uh, to I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this uh, scene 01, let's say, and save it. Okay. Now what it's doing is that Whammo, it came up and it showed me that it has mapped my skeleton. If I look over here, I can in this window here, I can see that my skeleton is now completely mapped. See the bones that he has? All those green bones mean means that the mechanism under, uh, system understood it. The other thing too, look at the skeleton. See, all the bones are now named. Well, they were named before, but now the mechanism system understands them. So what I have to do now is I come here under mapping. This is important because a lot of people forget this. I open up mapping and I got to put auto map. Then I open up pose and I got to put enforce T pose. Well, what the skeleton is in now is the T pose. Okay, so let me now click done and I'm going to apply. Okay, all right. Now, if I go back here and I do this, I play it. The skeleton isn't dancing anymore. And you say, wait a minute, you broke it. No, I didn't. Because he's now part of the Mechanin animation system, he needs to have something different. And here's what he needs. What we need for the skeleton is an, uh, an animator controller. So I'm going to come here to the project panel under assets uh, in the skeleton thing. I'm going to right click and put create and I'm going to come all the way down here animator controller. And I click on that and I get new animator controller. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to name it, I'm going to name it my dance. Okay, and I click on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and I noticed what happened, what used to be my scene panel has now changed, they've given me a new panel called Animator. And in here it says Any State. Well, this is sort of a placeholder, it's pretty useless. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on here, Create a State, and I'm going to create an empty state. Maybe you can't see it too well. Create a State, Empty State. And I've got this empty state right here, it says New State. And it's orange because this means it's going to be the default animation. So now, when I got that new state, I come over here to the inspector panel, and it, I click on it. The, I click on the new state to highlight it. Come to the inspector panel. Motion is none. I click on this little button here. I come to assets, and I want dance. And now I come over here, and it says dance. So let's see what happens now and nothing still nothing is happening so i come over here to skeleton and now what it says under the animator it says controller it says none no animator controller but i just made one and it's called my dance so i'm going to drag that animator controller right into there now i'm going to come back here and see if the skeleton dances and yes he's now part of the uh mechanin animation system he can dance. We're going to try and do the same thing for our lady. And here we go. Hold on. Okay, so I come here to where uh, Joan is in the uh, female character pack. Okay, and there's Joan. All right, she's just laying down there. So I want to rig her. So what I want to do is open this, and I want to go humanoid. And then I want to go uh, apply. And then I want to go configure. 
And yes, I want to save this. And now there she is, and she's all configured. And if I look here on the scene, I can see she's all boned. And there's all the different bones that she has. Now again, for her, I must come here, go to mapping. I must go to auto map. Then I must go to pose. Then I got enforced T pose. And I put done. And I put apply. Now when I go and I do that, I see she's just still standing there. What do I have to do? Go get out of here, come over here to Joan. And what I have is there's no controller there. And where's the controller? It's under skeleton data. And it's called my dance. So I'm going to take my dance and put it right here with Joan. And then I'm going to click on this. And lo and behold, they are both dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the skeleton and for Joan. Okay, that's it. Uh, we're, I'm going to be making some more videos on Mechanin uh, Simplified. Uh, so uh, visit back and, and uh, check out my other videos. Okay, thank you for watching.